Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from Beauty of Selah and the Organized Blog Society. This is the updated steps to separating your Chrome browser so that you can use two to be able to have one for personal use and one for your business. This comes in handy with keeping everything organized so that all of your logins and bookmarks are unique to each browser. As you can see, I have two Chrome browsers pinned to my taskbar. This is my personal one. As you're seeing, it has a little icon of me with straight hair and this is my business browser and it has my business picture um, when it's closed it has a little cupcake here it's an icon that I chose that I'll show you how to do in this video before we start you should know I have a free email course the five-day blog organization Trello boot camp that you can sign up for I'll teach you how to organize your to-do list your Facebook groups your monthly stats all of your courses and PDFs that you've purchased, and your editorial calendar. I'll link to it below for you to sign up. All right, so let's get down to business. Let's walk through the steps of how to set this up. So what you're gonna do is go over here and right next to these three dots, you're gonna click on your icon, whether it's a picture or a different icon that's right here, and you're going to scroll down and select Manage People. Now, I've already set this up for my business, and so that's the reason why I have two here. But you're just going to go ahead and select Add Person. You're going to select a name for that person. I choose my business. I'm just gonna choose my second Gmail account. I use this, um, just side note and handy tip. I have two Gmail accounts. One I use to just sign up for um, blogging resources so that my regular inbox doesn't get overloaded with emails. I have a separate Gmail that I use um, so that I can sign up for those and check on that regularly. All right, so we'll just name that your business and then you'll select an icon. I'm just gonna select an ice cream cone. If you are on Windows, you'll have this option here that says create desktop shortcut for this user and you'll want to keep that checked if you want a desktop shortcut. If you're on Mac, I have steps separately in the blog post that is related to this video and so I will link to that below also. You won't have this option. Um, Mac does not give you the option to have two separate Chromes um, as shortcuts on your browser but there is an option to separate them on your dock and those steps are in the blog post. All right, so you're just going to select add. And then you want to select turn on sync. And then you're going to sign into your Chrome with your business Gmail. Now, if you don't have a Gmail set up for your business, then you'll want to do that now by select selecting create account. I'm just gonna pause this because you guys don't need to see my login information. Alrighty, so after you sign in, this is the next screen that you will see. It says turn on sync, sync your bookmarks, passwords, history. That is the whole point of getting the new browser. So you're going to select yes, I'm in. And boom, here is your new browser. And as you can see, I have three little chromes here. You'll have two. Um, if you run multiple businesses, you can create more chromes. Um, and then you'll see your icon here. If you have a picture that is synced to your Gmail address, then it'll show up as that. Otherwise, it'll show up as your icon. Now, to keep it in your taskbar, you're going to right-click on this and select Pin to Taskbar so that even when this is closed, it'll stay here. And again, the options are different for Mac. And you will see that in the instructions in the blog post. So as you can see, my personal browser has all these personal bookmarks. My business browser has all of my business bookmarks, um, which is completely handy to me because I love my little bookmarks bar. Um, I'm actually releasing a course in the fall of 2019 on how to organize your bookmarks and um, I give you all the steps that I use and plus I give you 
all the gold links that I have found over my time blogging. I share those with you in the course, so make sure um, to sign up to be notified for when that course is available. I'll put that link in the notes for this also. And if it has come out by the time that you're watching this, then that link will be updated for you to go to the course. Alrighty, so again, the steps for, the, for how to do this on a Mac are in the blog post that is also linked to below. If you want more organization tips for your blog, make sure to join my Facebook group, The Organized Blog Society, or check out my blog, beautyofsayloud.com, where you can grab all my organization freebies and courses. All right, you guys, until next time.